Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I wanna show you how to make this boxed type or this boxed font. Uh, you can use any typeface. You can change the size, you can change the color. It's completely dynamic. Let's check it out. So what's cool about this is not only is it completely dynamic, you can just change things up easily and it doesn't matter what font or what words you have in there, it's just going to work. But because it's all on one layer, you can create this as a preset so that you can then save it, use it in the future, you can share it with your friends or whatnot because it's just all in a preset, it's really easy to use that way. So let's start with a brand new composition. So Command or Control N on your keyboard, we'll bring that up. Let's call this boxed font. Get ourselves a background. If you hit Command or Control Y, that's the hotkey for a new solid. I just like to work on a color. So let's bring in our font. And I like to use Courier because it kind of reminds me of the old plastic labels, kind of the embossed labels. So the first thing you need to do is we need to add some effects. So let's go up to Blur and a Box Blur. Then we go to Effects, Generate, Fill, then Effects, Color Correction, Curves. Now this is the beginning of it. So what we I'm going to blur this. And a box blur blurs evenly in both directions. Um, you can also change it to just horizontal or just vertical, but you need horizontal and vertical for this effect. And the fill is so we can the fill is going to be the background color of the box. Now, in order to make kind of the square, I have this curves adjustment, and I'm going to switch this over to alpha. So if you never use curves, you can do RGB, you can do red, green, blue separately, but there's also alpha. And then what I'm going to do is going to take, there's this line, and at the bottom, there's kind of a square. If I click and grab that square, I'm going to bring it all the way up. And this is my box that the type is going to be in. In order to make the type show up, there's one more effect I'm going to add. That's under the channel setting, and it is CC Composite. And then there it is. So now, in order to make this work, how to control this is the size of the box is going to be the blur radius. So I can bring that up and you can see it's creating the size of the box. The fill color of a course is going to be the color of the box. And then just the font color is going to be the color of the you know the font you use. I like white. So but you'll notice I can go through and change the font and everything just works just fine and it keeps everything together now there are a couple of little issues with this and I'm going to tell you how to solve them um, the first thing is is if I want to rotate this yeah, I hit R on the keyboard brings up my rotate option um, it does this which is not what I want to do I want the whole box to rotate the other thing is sometimes when you're moving it around it's probably not going to show now um, these words disappear and it's just a thing where it just disappears for a second and you move it and it comes back. Um, I don't know why it happens. It does, but just to be aware, if you just move it, it it'll come back. But let's, let's solve this rotate um, problem. And how to do that is if we come into the distortion uh, effect, there's one called transform. And this transform will transform the layer and therefore it'll transform the box blur and the fill and all of this stuff. So if I come in here and I could rotate and things look pretty good. Now what if I want to move this over here and then I rotate? Well, now it's not where I want it to rotate. And so how to fix that is this anchor point and position. So I'm gonna come into the transform. I'm gonna option click on the anchor point stopwatch and connect it to the position. And then now all I have to do is take the position and that is my new anchor point. And I just put it where I want it to go. And then now when I rotate, it'll rotate around that point. So that's the first thing. Now the next thing that we can do to kind of spice this up, make it a little bit more, um, more options, is I'm going to add another transform effect. But this one, I'm going to move it before the CC composite, above it. And then what I can come and do in here is let's go to Opacity and bring down the Opacity and then go to CC Composite and right here where it says RGB only, uncheck that. And what this is going to do is now I can have this box have its own Opacity. 
That's pretty cool. So now I've got all of these things and let's add some controllers to this because I want to turn this into a preset. So I'm going to go to Effect Expression Controls and I want a slider. This one will be called Box Size and then I want a color control, box color, and then we'll do a point control, anchor point, and then we will do rotation. And I'm gonna take this box slider, duplicate that one, and we'll call this one box opacity. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move these to the top, because when you make a preset, you want people to be have access to the controllers easily, so I like them at the top. And let's start with the box size. And so how to link this up is I'm going to come down here to the timeline and I'm going to find my box blur. I'm going to option or alt click on the radius and connect it up here to box size. And then that will be able to control that. Next is the box opacity. So this was in the transform, the second one, which was above the CC composite. Let's find the opacity here. Option or alt click on the stopwatch, bring that up to opacity, and now I can control that from there. That's pretty cool. Box color, that was in the fill. So option click on the color, bring that up there. The anchor point, so this is in transform, and that would be the position. So I'm going to option click on position, connect it up to anchor point, and then finally rotation which is also in the same effect. Bring that up to angle here. And now I've got it, everything I want. So I can move it around. I've got this anchor point here. I can rotate it and have all these different controls. Now say if I'm wanting to turn this into a preset, one thing I like to do is take all of these, all of these effects here and rename them just so they're out of the way. So like, don't touch, and we can give it uh, maybe some sort of naming uh, convention such as BT for box type. And let's go ahead and reset these values. Opacity, let's bring the opacity up to 100, and let's get it kind of how we want it to be defaulted to. Okay, so now that we have everything defaulted, um, this is a good time to save it as a preset. And if you never saved a preset before, very handy. I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to go up to Animation, Save Animation Preset. And I've got lots of different things here. So you can create a brand new folder. This um, should be in your Presets folder. And if not, it's going to be in your um, User Presets folder. I like to save it to my Normal Presets folder. So you can create a new folder or you can use an existing one. Give it a name box type. Now, because I have it saved as a preset, let's go ahead and let's just hide this. And I'm going to bring in some new font. Some new text. Let's go in. Find my preset, drag it, drop it right on. Has all the controllers right there, ready to go. Um, so there you go, creating your own preset. I encourage you to go try this out. Now, it looks like there is a lot of stuff to this, but it's really not too complicated. It's kind of a fun look, as you saw in the example. Lots of fun stuff you can do. Change the colors, change the size, change the fonts. So I hope you enjoy it. Please try this out. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Put them down in the comments below. And if you have any tutorial requests, put those in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.